Hey there, and welcome to Noctis on YouTube. Oftentimes, cargo ships traveling on the open sea encounter incidents that result in the loss of their cargo. These losses are not always due to weather or external factors, but can also be caused by small mistakes or human enemies based shipping company, this vessel has a capacity of 14,000 TEUs. In November 2020, the ship made a voyage from China to the United States. However, it encountered bad weather, strong winds and large waves that hit the one Apis. The large waves, reaching a height of 15 meters, caused the containers on board to be thrown off the ship. The incident occurred when the one Apis was located approximately 1,600 nautical miles northwest of Hawaii. After being hit by the large waves, the ship's captain changed course to the south to avoid the extreme weather, then returned eastward to the port of Kobe in Japan. As a result of the waves that hit the ship, thousands of containers below deck collapsed and were lost at sea. Upon arriving at the port of Kobe, many of the containers on the ship were dented, off-center, and an estimated 1,816 containers fell into the ocean. Of the thousands of lost containers, 64 were carrying hazardous materials. The estimated loss from the lost containers was $200 million. Due to the significant loss, this incident made the one Apis the second largest container loss in history. According to rumors, the incident was caused by the captain's mistake. The captain reportedly knew about the bad weather and strong winds, but still proceeded due to a tight schedule and the belief that the wave height would not be too high. Whether or not these rumors are true is still unknown, as an official investigation into the one Apis ship has yet to be released. MSC Napoli The MSC Napoli was a container ship sailing under the British flag. In January 2017, the ship encountered bad weather and strong winds of up to 115 km per hour, causing severe damage to the hull. The ship's crew requested rescue assistance from the British government. Eventually, the ship was towed to the waters of Lime Bay and then beached near Seatown in England. At the time, the MSC Napoli was carrying 2,300 containers and 3,800 tons of fuel, including explosives, fertilizers and car engines. The British government was concerned about the potential environmental contamination and the badly damaged condition of the ship. As a result, they planned to sink it by exploding it into three parts. The purpose of sinking the ship was to facilitate the recovery of its wreckage and debris. After removing all the fuel and containers, the rescue team successfully lifted all the wreckage and debris from the seabed which took two and a half years to complete. The UK government spent £120 million for the salvage operation, making it the second most expensive shipwreck in maritime history. MOL Comfort In June 2013, the MOL Comfort experienced extreme weather with high waves, which caused cracks in the bottom of the ship. Fearing the ship would sink, all crew members were forced to abandon the MOL Comfort using the lifeboats. They were later rescued by a German-flagged vessel. Then, on July 6, for reasons unknown, the bow section of the MOL Comfort suddenly caught fire while being towed by a tugboat and eventually sank along with the remaining more than 2,400 containers. The sinking of the MOL Comfort resulted in insurance companies suffering losses of up to $400 million. This incident was the worst and most expensive disaster in history during a shipping operation. In December 2014, the insurance companies, which consisted of 100 firms, filed a lawsuit against Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, the company that built the MOL Comfort alleging that the accident and loss of cargo on the ship were due to design defects in the MOL Comfort. Reina 
The Reina was a container ship built in 1990 with a length of 236 meters and a width of 32.2 meters. On October 5, 2011, while sailing from Napier to the port of Tauranga in New Zealand, the Reina hit a cluster of rocks at a speed of about 17 knots. As a result, the Reina ran aground, and at the time of the incident, the ship was carrying 1,300 containers and over 1,700 tons of fuel. The grounding of the ship caused approximately 200 tons of fuel to spill into the sea, and a large number of containers fell into the water. The accident made the Reina the worst maritime disaster in New Zealand's history. After being stranded there for months, the Rena split in two in January 2012 and finally sank to the seabed on April 4th. After that, a large-scale salvage operation and sea cleanup were carried out in the area. The New Zealand government spent $700 million for the salvage operation. After an investigation, the cause of the Rena's accident was found to be due to the captain and navigation crew's mistakes. At the time of the incident, the Rena had altered its route to arrive at the destination as quickly as possible to meet the deadline. As a result, the captain and navigation crew were arrested and sentenced to seven months in prison. Ever Given The Ever Given is one of the world's largest container ships, with a length of 400 meters, a width of 58.8 meters, and a weight of 220,000 tons. During its journey through the Suez Canal in 2021, the Ever Given became stuck diagonally. The ship's bow was wedged against the eastern wall of the Suez Canal, while its stern was lodged against the western wall. According to experts, such an incident had not occurred in the Suez Canal's 150-year history. The Suez Canal is a man-made transportation route that is 193 kilometers long. It is a critical trade route because it provides a direct shipping link between Europe and Asia without having to circumnavigate Africa. When the Ever Given became stuck, it caused a backlog of more than 400 ships as they were unable to pass through the Suez Canal. For almost a week, the ship was finally freed. However, the impact of the incident was significant. While stuck, the Ever Given held up $9.6 billion worth of trade goods per day. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.